Hey, hello YouTubers. Like I promised, I'm gonna make a video about changing transmission oil in 2000 geometro Tresendo menu. So, yeah. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove those two bolts. Let me get out. Okay, first one, you need to remove this guy right over here. Right there. That's what that's the filling hole. And then you need to remove this guy right here. Got it? So before you do anything, make sure you unscrew this bolt right there. That's the first one you want you need to go for. Just in case if you unscrew this first, drain the fluids, and then you're not unable to unscrew this one, well, you know what will happen. You screw it. <laughs> so, go for that one first, over there, and then go for this one. Alright, so, let me drain the oil, and I'll be and right back. The hole that we're gonna fill in, the easiest way you need to unscrew this guy right over here you know why let me show you why where is it right here see it's oily guess what where this coal goes to. You guessed it, transmission, it goes straight to transmission. Instead, for me to crawling over there, to filling through that, I could go right here. Okay, yeah, I screwed the first one out. We're gonna drain the oil. This is gonna be messy. Whoo! Wow! This thing is dirty. Sorry about that. Wow, guys. This well is hella dirty. It's like a chocolate when you melt it in that thick. Wow. Now check it out what happened to this guy. You see this magnet on top? It's so metal. Dang. So you guys changing transmission. God, all right, I'll be back after cleaning everything and let the rest of the oil drain and I'll be back. So, yeah, man, still can't believe how dirty it was. Okay, next. 
That's what I'm gonna use. Yes, E75 W30 gear oil. It's one quarter. It's so good. Um, here it is. G5. So, and the other thing is, I wanted to show you. Yeah, it's a GL5. So, yeah, you guys could use whatever you guys want, but that's what I'm gonna use. You could go to your uh, Chevrolet dealer, dealer and just get a gear well from them. I just went to that parts store and get this right here. I called my Chevy dealer and they said you can use SE 75W30 GL5. So that's the GL5 right here. Yeah, so I'll just, it's a little bit cheaper, but hey, I don't have that much money to spend like 20 something dollars per quarter. Here I paid like, I don't know, 10 or something. 11 something yes so now let's go and fill it up oh yeah first thing you About the other whole one. Do not close this one. Do not. When we're gonna fill up with the oil, transmission oil, the extra one will come out from here. So you'll never go wrong. Um, it'll probably. So um, yeah, I'm filling it up. Yes, you can see it. Let me zoom in for you. Slow process, but it worth it. So yeah, you need to fill it up about two of two and a half of those bottles. So yeah, I'll be back when I'm done. Yeah, guys, I completed the filling the transmission. It took me about ten minutes to do it. So yeah, I stick it in and fill it up through here, through this little hole. Now watch what happens. You see that hole over here? Transmission oil start leaking. That means we're good to go. I'm gonna wait a little bit until it all completely come out. And then I just close the hole and go for a little test drive. See how it acts. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.